Welcome to Building Games with Scratch 2.0. Scratch is a free, browser-based, multimedia programming environment. It's easy to learn, so whether you just want to make fun games or you are an educator looking for a way to engage kids, Scratch is serious fun. And we're going to start with a simple animation. In the next couple of videos, we'll make a Scratch project that responds to input from the user. And we'll see how easy and useful it is to share our efforts with a very active online community. Follow along with me and you'll be amazed by what you can create and share by the end of the series. In upcoming sections, we'll make an arcade-style breakout game, a collect-and-avoid game, an escape-the-room point-and-click adventure, a tower defense game, and a maze game. But you probably want to get started, right? Okay, I do too. Scratch runs completely in any web browser that runs Flash. There's nothing to install. Uh, you start by going to scratchmit.edu. I'll take you to a project that I've already started, just so you can take a look and see what a Scratch project is like. This cat is what we call a sprite. It represents a character that we can bring to life by adding instructions over here in the scripts area. Costume comes with some content, and sounds also comes with some content. And we can add more. We assemble scripts by using these individual commands that Scratch calls blocks. Each of these blocks represent an instruction for Scratch to follow. If we click on a block, we see what it does. This block says move 10 steps. This one says turn right 15 degrees, and now I'm going to turn left 15 degrees. In later videos, we'll learn more about what some of these other collections of blocks do. But for now, let's start new project. I'm going to sign out, and I'll show you what it looks like when you first go to scratch.mit.edu. And you can start creating right away without even creating an account. If you want to save it, however, you'll have to create an account. Now, as a new Scratch member, you'll see this tutorial pop up over here. You can follow that tutorial on your own. I'm going to close this tutorial and move on. With the default sprite, this cat, on the stage, which is this area right here, we can make the cat do things by dragging these blocks of code, such as, I could move 10 steps, over to this assembly area. Now, we'll explore all these palettes later on. Uh, for now, I'm going to just going to click here on Looks. And I'm going to pick a block which says Next Costume. Well, if I don't know what that means, I can just click on it. And we say, aha, remember I showed you that cat has two different costumes? Now, I can drag and drop that block, and it kind of snaps there like that. Now let's add a sound. Now from the sounds, I could play this meow that comes with Scratch, but I want to make a footstep sound. So I'm going to pick this play drum sound, which if you just click on it, okay, that's the noise that it makes. So now I've built a stack. When I click this stack, see what happens? We move 10 steps, we change the costume, and you play this drum sound. All those work in sequence to create a walking animation. Okay, that's cool, but what if we want to make that sprite keep walking? Well, over here in the control palette, here's this block that says repeat 10. That block is shaped so that you can put stuff inside it, and this stuff inside it will happen 10 times. So I'm going to put this, and whoop, this happens all the time in Scratch. I've dropped a block on top of some other blocks. I want to put these blocks inside here. I don't want them to be underneath here. That happens all the time, and it's really kind of easy to fix. Just drag the bottom of the stack, and I can insert it inside there. And now if I want to get this move so that it's inside the repeat 10 loop, I have to break the loop off from the bottom. And then I drag this block and slip it in there in the top. So now, when I click this, my cat moves 10 times. Not bad for a first try. Scratch is wonderful because you can edit all these values very easily in order to change the way your program works. Now, a little while ago, I spent about five minutes playing with all these settings, and I found a better sound effect, which was played drum. I'm going to take the sound 10, which is a wood block, and I'm going to make that 
0.1 beats. I want my character to take bigger steps, so I'm going to change it from a 10 steps to 20 steps, so he's going to move more quickly. And also, I want to make it so that the cat goes back to the center rather than eventually walk off the screen. So I'm going to go here to motion, and I will take go to, we'll put him at 0, 0, which is the center of the screen. And I'm going to go over here and grab this when green flag clip. One of the traditional ways to start a scratch program is by clicking here on this green flag. So let's do that. Now, I went through all that very quickly. In later videos, we'll go through the creation process much more carefully and more deliberately. But right now, my point was just to demonstrate how easy it is to tweak your code in Scratch. And you should feel free to experiment on your own. So we've learned about MIT's great educational programming tool, Scratch. And in just a few minutes, we've learned how to animate a character. In the next video, we'll learn how to control a character with the keyboard. It's easier than you think.